W Utro from the Kalamegdan Fortress in Belgrade, Serbia. It's minus four today, really cold. So I've had a couple of vignacs to warm me up, but it's done no good. I'm still freezing. A walk around this 130 acre site should warm me up. And I want to take you guys with me. Lots to see and do, so let's have a look. I'm just going through Karadori's Gate and Ravine now. This is named after the legendary Serbian figure of the first Serbian uprising. You'll find lots of pieces all around the actual fortress from uh, Roman, medieval, Turkish and Austrian times. Lots of history. I don't know if you can see over there, but there's some kind of dinosaurs. I wonder how long these have been here. And that in front is the Sahat Tower, and that dates from the 1700s. It's an impressive structure. And next to the tower, we have a military museum. Loads of different pieces. You've got rockets, you've got guns. Moving swiftly down, you've got tanks. It's all here. Look at the size of this cannon guarding the gate. Massive. Right, I'm off to find the Roman well. That's what I'm interested in. Heard a lot about this, so I want to go and look at that. Just met some characters as I was filming the Sahat Tower, and they were saying, where's your mask? <laughs> I thought they were serious. And they said, oh, I recognize you off YouTube. I was like, oh, small world. But yeah, <laughs> very funny. Okay. Where are you? Like I say, there's 130 acres around here, so I could be here all day. Let's have a look. Even though it's really chilly today, lots of people out and about. But a definite nice place to walk around. Right. Okay, here we are, the Rome well. The actual well was finished in the 1700s by the Austrians, but scientists believe that the Romans actually dug the well out because there was a Roman stronghold at the fortress in the second century. The well was dug out so the soldiers could have water if the fortress was under siege from the river Sava, which I think is very clever. The actual well at the moment is closed, which is a bit disappointing. The well itself is 60 meters deep with a three and a half meter diameter. There's a lot of grisly stories about this well. And the famous director Alfred Hitchcock once visited here in the 60s and he was impressed by the eerie ambience. Some chilling facts for you about the well. The well was used as a dungeon by the Austro-Hungarians. They caught prisoners and sent them to the bottom of the well. There they left them without no food till they went crazy and killed each other. Also in the Second World War, German divers went to the bottom of the well because they believed that Yugoslavian gold reserve was at the bottom of the well. They never returned. And in the 60s, a jealous husband apparently pushed his wife down the well to her death. Divers were sent to retrieve the body, but it wasn't found. But 10 days later, the body rose to the surface, which left everybody baffled. You can tell why Alfred Hitchcock likes this place. Very eerie indeed. Right, okay, I'm gonna make my way to the next landmark, the Victor Monument, also known as Pobednik. Bronze statue is 14 meters high. It was created by Ivan Mestrovic and it was erected in 1928. It's to commemorate the Serbian victory in the First World War over the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a figure of a naked man that holds a falcon as a symbol of peace in his left hand 
and holds a sword in the right hand as a symbol of war. The monument overlooks the River Sava and the River Danube. The actual fortress lies on a 125 metre cliff, which I think is very strategic. You know, if it was under attack, people have to climb up, so they'll be up against it straight away. Okay, I'm off to find a place called Nabodsa Tower now. Just gonna watch my footing on here because it's very slippy. But I'm really liking this fortress, great place to explore. Well, nearly gone. There you go. <laughs> nearly fell then. You got these cool gates everywhere. Feels like Game of Thrones. Cracking view of the Danube. Yeah, very slippy indeed these stairs. So, got to be very careful. Well, I spoke too soon. It's too dangerous on foot. I've just slipped over literally, so I think I'm gonna forget that. But I think I can see the body sit in the background. I think that may be over there. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but Nabodsa Tower is the oldest medieval structure in the fortress, dating from the early 1400s. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. I think that's it over there. Yeah, those stairs with the ice, absolute death trap. I don't want to have to use my travel medical insurance. I say, I went arse over tip then. Backside is killing. Yeah, even though it's more is for a lot of people out, the hardcore. What you got here is the Despots Gate, which was the main gate for the upper town in the 15th century. And also next to it, you got Dizda Tower. Really digging this. Very cool. You got a nice wooden bridge here. Right, I've seen this sign before. It says walk in this area, you risk your life. Is that because of the ice on the floor or what? <laughs> Let's go have a look. Yeah, I've already fell over once, so. Very Game of Thrones. Yeah. Cool, we got a restaurant up here, it looks closed though. Too bloody cold. What? <laughs> Nearly went again then. Right, so I'm risking my life up here. Fortress not under siege, is it? Right, let's never get my way back down. Take it very steady. Yeah, that's the only thing that I think is going to risk my life. Slip on this ice. Absolute nightmare. Bloody hell. <laughs> and I'm down, I made it. I'm still out to tell the tale. Heart was going. Yeah, just walking around this place, you can tell it's absolutely dripping in history. It's well worth a visit. Plus you get some epic views of the Danube and the Savra as well. Highly recommend it. Got 
two pretty churches. You got two guards on the gate here. Look at these fellas. Okay, it's making our way through the King's Gate now. This was built in 1690. Just going over the mini bridge. There you go, the King's Gate and the Victory Monument over there standing proud. There you go, you got the River Danube over there, and it joins onto the River Sabah. Epic view. Okay, I'm making my way back home now because my nose is about to fall off. It's that cold. Plus, I'm in agony from falling over. It's all getting a bit much now. <laughs> okay, time to hit the booze now. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from them. See you in the next one.